Hey everybody, this is meteorologist Greg Majeski, and welcome back to the Weather Nerds YouTube page with a climate outlook that's going to take you straight to the end of the month. And we're going to start first by looking at the 6 to 10 day outlook. That's going to take you from October 23rd to the 27th. And what we're showing is a big warm up here in the east uh, as a lot of the month's been below average and finally getting a cool down out here on the west. So uh, that's what we're seeing, at least for that period. Now, where I do differ a little bit, as I go ahead and step this forward for days 8 through 14, this is October 25th to the 31st, right now the Climate Center is calling or advertising a still holding on to warmer temperatures here across the east with a cool down at below normal temperatures here in the high plains. And what the European model is kind of hinting at is we may get our first real what I would call winter type air mass that's coming down. And if that happens, I believe it'll come in across the eastern third of the United States before the end of the month. So I believe this map could potentially change. Let's see why. Now taking a look at some of the energy on the European model at about 18,000 feet, we see a couple of anomalies here I wanna kind of point out to you uh, that I'm gonna be keeping a very watchful eye on uh, for this potential change in the weather pattern. You have a low pressure system sitting right here across the southwest. You have a tropical feature here that's coming up that's gonna get absorbed into that feature as we go through time. So as I go ahead and step you through this, watch what happens closely as that low absorbs that tropical energy. Then it's gonna move up toward, then from there it's gonna to begin to shift. It's gonna to begin to move uh, as we go through time. So it's gonna to start to shift and move in this general direction while another piece of energy is gonna swing down this way and they're gonna kinda of link up. And when they link up, that's gonna really form a very strong trough. Watch what happens as I step through this in time and you get a nice little cold air patch that's gonna be right through there. And that's gonna be proceeding in that colder air diving down toward the south as we head from the 27th and into the 28th of October. So if the European model verifies out that means the eastern portion of the United States that was showing that above normal temperatures will get pushed out and we'll see a nice cold shot. And many areas here across the high plains will definitely see their first freezes, if not further south, even down into the Ohio River Valley and down the Tennessee Valley as we head toward the end of the month. The Climate Prediction Center is picking up a bit on that upper level low as well as the tropical influence from what is now Tropical Storm Nora being drawn into the western portion of the United States. You can see that a big area in here showing above normal precipitation threat with only below normal precipitation here just right along the eastern seaboard as we go from October 23rd through October 27th. Now as I go ahead and step further into the future, going from days 8th to the 14th, taking us right up to Halloween, you can still see that uh, wet pattern here across a chunk of the country. Uh, and again, I think it's going to be very conducive on, on the development of that cold core coming down. This could also potentially change depending on if we get that cold northwest flow or not. And that would definitely cut off the moisture flow. But for right now, what it is showing is we're seeing that wet pattern kind of continuing along the west. And eventually, uh, we'll see that kind of shift off to the east. This should be moving this way. Or maybe we can see a little more wetter pattern here along the eastern seaboard uh, toward the end of the month. It really, it's going to be all dependent if everything kind of synchronizes and we get a nice cold shot to come down as we head toward the end of the month. So the first feature I'll be tracking here on the European model is what's coming in for this upcoming weekend. You've got an area of low pressure here across the Great Lakes with this trailing front moving in across the south. And this is going to fire off with another piece of energy coming up the eastern seaboard. And where these two are going to kind of hook up and uh, kind of develop a pretty decent area of low pressure across New England as we step through time. So let me step you through this as you kind of see what happens as this moves on forward. And this is going into Sunday. So a pretty good area of low pressure across New England going to make it kind of wet and damp there for uh, Sunday especially. Very breezy across the north northeast in New England before this moves on out. Then our attention moves back toward the west. And what we're going to be tracking there is two systems kind of converging. You've got the, what's left of this tropical system coming up from the south. And then you've got this other piece of energy coming in here from the northwest. They're going to hook up and they're going to move out in here to the plain. So a pretty decent area of low pressure that's going to form out here right out in the middle of the country. And it's going to track off toward the north and to the east. So as I step through this again, watch that moisture come on up out, out of the southwest, merging with that energy. And as that area of low pressure fires up, what it's going to do, it's going to tap some of this cold air out of Canada and it's going to bring it down this way. And a pretty good area of low of high pressure, I should say, is going to be moving down as well. Uh, that's a 1034 
uh, area of high pressure. And that's pretty strong as we step through time. Watch this. Again, this moves on out. And so you've got a 1034 high. That's a very strong area of high pressure sitting right there. And there's also an upper level low here. So you're looking at uh, some snows. This is probably all snow right up in here across the Great Lakes that's going to break out. And then you got this trailing cold front on the 28th. Now, that's a pretty strong high pressure. That's going to take this front and it's going to move it off the eastern seaboard. And that's why I'm thinking the last few days of October, although the Climate Center is showing above normal temperatures, I think they're going to revise that. I think it's going to see it. It's going to see cooler temperatures coming in if the European model verifies with that colder air. And with that colder air, I think a lot of areas here across the Ohio River Valley, the Tennessee River Valley may see their first frost of the season as this is some of the coldest air we've seen come down out of Canada. Now, when it comes to long range forecasting, one of the tools that I like to use to kind of forecast as look at the North Atlantic Oscillation. Now, what you're seeing right there is I'm looking at the tail end of this, okay? And what you're seeing is the zero line, which is when it's kind of in a neutral phase running right there. And all those little squiggly red lines show different models. So they are ranging all over the place, looking range, looking at going uh, positive up here to negative down here. And that's a pretty wide range. So that throws some question marks in the long range, long range forecasting. Now, I will say this, looking back at the trend so far over the last few uh, weeks or so, it's been mostly in a negative phase. So I don't see anything right now that's going to abruptly change that pattern. And if this pattern holds with the negative phase going into the winter months, that's going to mean for a pretty active weather pattern, especially for the eastern third of the United States. Remember, when I say it's in a negative phase, that means the eastern portion of the United States is in a colder weather pattern and the west is in a warmer one. When it's in a positive phase, that typically means that out west, they're colder and it's warmer in the east. I'll try to keep that straight for you as we go into the winter months coming up. Let's look at your forecasts for now as far as the climate outlook to the end of the month. Uh, if you could do me a favor, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. That way you get updates when I place some new content on the channel. And look forward to helping you out with your weather planning needs here in the near future. You guys take it easy. We'll see you next time.